Hello everyone, Zeno and Zimmer here, and welcome to more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time, we did Tyon Story. Side Story. But now we're going on to Lands. This Lands is and relations. we're very overpowered for this. V's colony. Oh, Lance, you're a glutton for punishment, ain't ya? Six ain't many. Six of what now? The Ouroboros candidates. All that training, and six get in. Oh yeah, Monica did say something like that to us. I feel kind of let down. How so? Just knowing there's a pecking order here too. Makes them the same, same as us. People aren't equally suited to everything. Such is life. Sure, I guess, but... I'm feeling hungry. You guys want to go grab a bite? I'm in favor. How about the shopping area? I found the tastiest looking torpedo stand. How's that sound? Torpedo wraps, eh? Spark, yes! Lance? Yeah, sure thing. As well, yeah. Blades, come Ravi and Apple here. Might as well see what this is. It's locked. That's what it is. That's what it's called. It's called Ethel. Hey, you! What are you doing back here? How many times have I told you no performing out here? Hmm. 
Hmm. You shouldn't be wasting your time like this. Don't you have training? I'm not wasting my time. This is my job here. You call that a job? Hey, you're Ura Boris, right? I've heard. I suppose my job doesn't really compare to yours, I'll admit. Why are they on your case? Street performance. It's not allowed on this road. Street performance? This stuff. Around this spot, this is where you get the best crowds. <laughs> but still, they like to push me around. We're at war here. Why aren't you fighting, they say. Do you not need to be fighting? The city's army is just for volunteers. Oh. There's plenty who are willing. Why is that? Because it gets you others' approval. Hmm. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? You think so? You don't? Well, who decides what has merit? And whoever's making the rules, how do we know they're right? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything. It's just... Uh-huh. I think... Isn't it fine if there's, like, one guy who makes the call for himself? You know? Even if it ends up being pointless. Hey, even pointless things can have a point. Down the line. <sighs> I want to live my way. Take it one step at a time, the way I want. Really live. Oh, rats! Better scarper before the guards find me again. Hey! Tell you what, I've got a new trick, just in the works. You should come and watch. Bye. Oh. You okay there? Can I help out? Nah. I'm all good. Lance! This alarm's worrying. Head for the war room. Right. On it. <sighs> Time to head to the war room. We never got to eat any torpedo wraps. Oh, boo hoo. We had torpedo wraps any time. A cradle transport for the colonies? Yes. The report is calling it large scale. And you want to liberate it, like you did that last batch. Right, well, that explains the emergency assembly. When? Where? By our estimate, tomorrow, late night. Podesto Valley floor, at the Great Sword's base. Boss, the logistics guys wanted an overnight camping kind of deal. Approved. Sort out the planning. Just what I thought you'd say, so I took initiative. We can leave any time. What do you think? Should we lend them a hand with it? Yeah, gladly. If Monica's okay with it. It's up to you. But if things don't go to plan, there might be a fight. We're prepared for that. Hmm. Then be my guest. Take this chance to show my soldiers that Ouroboros spark. It'll be an illuminating experience for them, fighting or not. All right. We'll drill them well. Might as well just do this. Monica, can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him, but we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? 
You were brought up by him, right? So, we thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! <laughs> I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... you weren't on very good terms? I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought... that we'd have more time together. Huh. Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. <sighs> Sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad... Guernica died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in? Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says, we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. <laughs> Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But, there are personal items that have been left behind though, right? Huh? Maybe, you'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be Offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. Travis. Could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around El Feto Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. Okay. Some relationships changed. Okay, we might do that another time. But now let us head on over. that can traverse even the Great Sea's Vortex. Phew, technology sure is a marvel. Yeah, I don't know what we'd have done without Mr. Salmon. We'll do, we'll give Salmon his things later. We need to get to Morak Endic Inlet.
Things used to be easier, huh? What was? All we had to do was bash heads. No thinking, no nothing. What about the dying part? You weren't scared? Sure, I was scared. But at least I knew what was expected of me. Wait a sec. You want to go back to that? Obviously not. Just saying how I feel. There's just too much snuff to consider nowadays. It's doing my nutting. I think you should try it sometime. This thinking thing might not be so bad. Stop making it sound like I don't. You just said it yourself. No thinking, no nothing. I was talking about before, you spoon. Sorry? Who are you calling a spoon? Oh, shut up! If you're gonna act like a spoon, of course I'm gonna call you one. Uh, it takes one to know one. What? Let's just chill out here, you guys. Okay, then why don't you tell me where we are now? What's this region? Come on, spill. Uh, it's, uh... See? You can't tell your ass from your elbow. Doesn't that make you the spoon? Just because I slept through that class? If I've been awake for it, right. then... Things were easier. Then stay awake, you spoon! Yeah. We had everything handed to us. Back then. That's not quite true in your case, though, is it? What? You had thoughts. And deep ones at that. I can tell. When we're playing together. That you have, as well. I hope... ...we find an answer. Absolutely. We'll find it. I'm sure. That's it. Nice edge. Nice edge pass. That's surprising. The Podesto say. Valley floor is ahead. The camp's a stone's throw from the Great Sword. We've never been here before. <sighs> hey, guys! Hmm? It's an honor. I mean, this chance to do an op with you guys. What do you mean? You're my heroes. Uroboros. I mean, I always knew a grunt like me could never measure up. Although, we all still dreamed of it. And now you're here in the flesh. Doesn't seem real. What's so great about us? Huh? Before this op's done, we might have to kill old friends. How about it? Could you do it? Stab a friend? Lance! I... I mean, that's... If you're here with some half assed notions, go home. I... I... I'm sorry. I just got excited. They talk big, but when shit hits the fan, they might just double cross us. You watch. <laughs> you saying you can't trust us with the job? 100%. You never trained with our unit before, never ever fought by our side. The way I see it, you're just some arsewipes who stole away what was rightfully ours. <sighs> oh, yeah? If I let you down, shoot me. In the front or back, I don't care. Gee, thanks. Well, that's awful big of you, pal. Hmm. I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have come. No, this is good. It's how you build trust. You can only begin once you've gotten everything out in the open. Really? One of my dad's favorite lines. Wasn't it the same for you lot? Yeah. You might be right on the mark. I'm sure they'll settle down when they need to. They've got good role models today. Now let's head in deeper.
Lance. Intel was right. There's quite a few of them. But it's too quiet. There's barely any signs of life. They're probably all conked out. The fewer sentries, the better for us. Monica, the cradles are in that transport. Yes, it's likely. Let's head down. If we go round from the right, we can approach unseen. Roger that. get ahead of ourselves. What is this? They're all empty! you please for long enough right here right now we're gonna correct that little mistake Go! oh so you've actually heard of me guess I gotta give myself more credit than I thought Layla and who sparks they look like they're in their early terms that means... They got reborn. That adds up. This lot, soon after they moved to Colony 8, I hear they croaked. <sighs> Don't dare look down on us second-termers. We were chosen. We are the elite. Now, I don't know if you're lost numbers or what, but you're in our way, and for that, your heads are gonna roll! Right, 
back in action. Finish him off already. I need that sweet, sweet life. <sighs> Finish him off. Hurry, run him through. Go on, kill him dead. That'll give me a good top up, nice and easy. Gotta love this new flame clock the console was kind enough to give us. It's a belter. Oh. It's a different color. Yeah, that is no ordinary flame clock. Back in my old colony, if some moron slowed you down, there was nothing you could do. Oh, you could kill him, sure. But you wouldn't get any life from it. But around here, that's all changed. Here, life is the privilege of the strong. The final survivor gets to take the whole snuffin' cake! Gavel. You get it now, do you? The weaklings need to be taken out of the running. So give me some of that sweet life! I... You mother! You can call yourself the leap all you want. But do, do moderate, moderate your expectations. expectations. Uh, you're the same as ever, Gav. Only ever thinking of yourself. How are you gonna win against, against us like, like that? that? Uh, uh, what the snuff is this? No one told us about these monsters. You are not to hesitate. Man! <laughs> what? Are you... Ugh! 
Lady Consul! I should have known. Guess you can't have a Feronis without a Consul, eh? My Ouroboros as well. I can't believe my luck. I suppose I ought to have prepared better still. A woman? You like my children? They're an anti-city special unit. One that I have diligently raised and lavished with love myself. It has been backbreaking to educate them so. They'll have to earn much, much more life for me before they're done. I hate failed investments. So you see... I'll take you brats out myself to protect mine! Oh, we're starting off. I just realized Tyon is outfitted for tactician, yeah. I'm going in not at my most effective. Reactivation. Thank you. 
cut through them. Unleash break. <laughs> oh. oh, this is going to be fun. Perfect. Just give us more Noah. Now, 
please give us one of that and then the uh, final one. Yes! That will help. Anything better is if I went to or okay, got an orb right into orb or But seems me and Noah switch Oh, Mobius H. What is this? Nobody told me the order for his bombs was so horribly strong. Why did no one tell me? Dear, oh dear. It seems your grasp has exceeded your reach. Noah, cut the flame clock. We gotta release Garb and the others! Yeah! Yeah! This simply isn't fair! What just happened? The, the cops off, she. She just disappeared. Lady Consul? Lady Consul! What. What am I supposed to. Garth, your clock's gone. Just stand down. <sighs> Peace. You don't have to fight anymore. Huh? No more stealing of lives. No more charity from consuls. <sighs> what are you on about? Get snuffed. You're talking out your ass. Don't have to fight. Fighting is all that we know. If we don't have that, then what the snuff are we supposed to do? Tell me, what do we do now? Hey, need some help? Huh? Oh, yeah. Nah, been through worse. Man, you guys, stunning. You're so far beyond us. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. If you're one of us, you did just as well. Think they'll be okay, those guys. What's eating you, Lance? Well, I just worry we cut them loose a bit soon. Tell me, what are we gonna do now? How would I know? <gasps> you stop stealing lives. You guard them. It's simple. But the how is up to you. Got it? Spark? You can't do this to us. 
Colony 4. Know it? Yeah. I've heard about it. On your map, middle of the Faunus region. The lieutenant there, Boliaris. You can tell him we sent you. Try him. Helps to have a mentor, starting out. You gave them the info. Now they got a choice. Some might take it hard, though. Besides, when we cut through the flame clock, it was to protect the city detachment, too. There was little else we could do. If we'd meddled even more, it might have come right back round to bite us in the bum. We did the right thing by telling them about Colony 4. I think that was the best course of action. <sighs> Everything they believed came crashing down just like that. They'll be confused for a while, sure. But they'll figure it out. Just the same as you lot did. We might have gotten off lightly. If we hadn't met like we did in that valley, we'd be just as confused as those guys. Luck was on our side. Speaking of, back then, wasn't it Lance who was the most reluctant of us? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Our big man was just a bit shy to introduce himself in front of new people. Right? Ah, uh, shut up. Oh, yeah, he was. I did kind of get the impression that he was embarrassed to speak up. Right? Eh? Oh, he's just a big teddy bear, really. No tall spice here, but double veggies. Arden sausage, huh? That sounds good. But then, there's the tall spice sauce as well. Mmm, fluff cream and skeeter syrup dressing. What delight. Oh, there's even chocolate sauce. How can I possibly choose? Still hard to believe, huh? Eating what we want. But is it enough? I want more. Dude, that's already pretty hefty. You really gonna eat another? Oh, hey. Whoa, he's pretty deep. Or have I got it backwards? Huh? Maybe it has to start with me. All right, cut it there. Heavy guards now, level 10 to 20. Before I forget, first of all, uh, gems, switch to this. Second of all, class. You're going back to heavy guard for a bit. I'm not really going to argue with anything there. Surprise Jupiter is not. Get in there. Double classes. Yeah, I guess I can, I guess I can start maxing out. You know what? I'm going to use some Noble coins to get her to level 16 in Zephyr. I'll keep us safe from harm. No, 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 no. You're saying you're stupid over now. To me. Yeah. 
time to finally start Sly Story Setup. We could do Vandom's Air. Actually, shit. Mm. As long as this one's short, I think it may be better. I'm gonna actually go for this one because this one's probably shorter. We'll do Sly Story next episode. But for now, let's unlock a new, a new hero. You didn't charge off on your own. Zero's belongings. Something so valuable here. He was belongings. Look. Oh. oh, Mimi, that's Kyrie from Colony Gamma. What? Friend of yours? Yes, but the story will have to wait. Okay, let's give her a hand. Well, we've got this as well. So I guess we can just. Guys, get ready to fight. We're so much in love with these guys. I'm not worried about it. Enemy's pushing away from me. Hello? We'll do this hero quest after the Santa's life story. Okay, you're not hurt. Me? Kyrie. Mio! You're in one piece. Thank you so much for saving me. I'm so glad you're alive. Yes, yes. No need to get so excited. Oh, I'm 
so sorry. I'll calm down. Deep breaths. What are you doing here, Kyrie? Colony Gamera's... Oh, well, actually... You got separated from your unit again. I'm so sorry. I just have no sense of direction at all. Never change, Kyrie. She's... interesting, isn't she? Interesting, pain in the neck. Same difference, I suppose. So, Mio, those other people... Don't worry about them. They're my friends, and they helped save you. Ah, so they did. Thanks again, Mio. Why, thanks, Mio. Well, the rest of us are mistake. Leave it. That's just Kyrie. Mio, let's hurry back to the colony. I bet the commander will be pleased to see you, too. Yeah, about that. Can I have a quick word? Of course. What about? This is an odd question, but... Well, how do we look to you? Ah. Oh. How do you look? Well, let me see. <sighs> Aha! Hmm? Yep, no good at all. You can't just change your clothes as you please. Hmm, now they suit you so perfectly. Um, thanks, Kyrie. That's all I'm happy to help. I just need to discuss some... No problem. More she seems in her right mind anyway. No glowing iris. Just classic Kyrie. But does this mean we don't look like hostiles to everyone? Let's not worry about that for now. What should we do with her? That's the question. I want to take her back to the colony if we can. But can we? We can't send her out on her own. It's dangerous, and she'd definitely get lost again. Fine with me, but would she be okay hanging out with us Kevesi? It's possible that the commander of Colony Gamma would hear us out. At least, he isn't the type to turn around and capture people without warning. Can we trust him? Better than the Consul. Trust me on that. If both of you are willing to go that far, then he seems worth meeting. Thank you. If anything happens, I'll do everything I can to keep you all safe, I promise. Thanks for waiting. Let's go, Kyrie. Ready, Mio? Good to add more names. We're going to do that next episode. Quest. Let's remember stones. And ah, oh, with hopefully with this quest complete, as long as there's nothing else I need to do. If there is, then we'll just do the next episode and then jump into Senna Story. We've brought their belongings. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah, that was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly? Placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um, you guys have off-seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off-seeing for city folk? Hmm. You got here first. Boss, we were waiting for you. Brother, you. Zuo. You made it back. Hiwa. You always kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that... we could have talked more. But... you're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you.
They weren't just sacrifices. They've entrusted us all with the future. As the Founders did, looking back is not an option. So that was enough seeing. The sound of that music, it's really something else. I don't think anyone here will forget this day, as long as they live. The Fallen never got to win their battles, but maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah, finally. Speaking of, you ought to get some rest too. You're gonna be pretty busy from now on. You said it, boss. W wait, just how busy are we talking here? From now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Huh? But then who's gonna handle things in the city? You'll be here, won't you, Travis? Uh, like father, like daughter, eh? Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me any time you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle too. There's so much I'd like to ask you. About yourself, the city. No worries. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. If you've got time to rip on the boss, I might just assign you some more duties, Travis. Oh. Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. Next time. The battle for the future is here. And we're on the front line. Hold on a minute. More colonies added. Next time. You're in safe hands. Thanks to Go Gondor. We will be doing... Side story, Senna. See you guys then. Xenia and Zimmer, signing out. Good to add more names. Oh, uh, before anyone asks, yes, I will be maxing out Gondor for a bit and doing some interlinking. I'm signing out. We're good this time.